And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then shall the end come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the world grows darker and more evil by the day. Disasters increase in scope. Believers' faith and love has grown cold. These are omens of the Lord's coming. He's absolutely right. Today, nearly all prophecies of his return are fulfilled. What's left is for the Lord to bring us to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. He always sisters, comes back to the same thing. The How hard it is to gain life supply. Life, it's been that way suffer, for years now. Work, for we sake, must read the Bible. Expend for, expend for the Lord. Wait and, and watch. In when heaven. the Lord returns, way, we'll sit at the, the table Lord with comes, him. Mm -hmm. We will indeed be raptured by him and enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. 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 Thanks to the Lord. Muen, you've sacrificed so much for the Lord. The Lord won't forget this. Thanks to the Lord. It's due to his grace and what I should do. Thanks be to the Lord that you understand it thus. Muan! Oh, I'll see you. Uncle. Hi. What a surprise. Hey, my niece is here too. Why didn't you call before you came? We wanted to surprise you. Yeah. Uncle, you've been wondering. Yes. Is Lele here? Yes, she is. Come in. We came today so that we could bring you some wonderful news. What really? is this good news? What's this news? Come on, tell us. Get the computer. Let's watch. It's a video. Once it's done, you'll know. The groom has arrived! Go out and welcome him! God comes to work this time not in a spiritual form But in a body that's ordinary Just like anyone else But did you know that you can Receive from him Truths that you have never Are his words referring to God's? Then where are they, huh? And how did we not know? Hold on, let's check the Bible. There's no answer in the book of Isaiah. Let's check Jeremiah. Yeah, right, right. right. let's right. check right. that. Why right. haven't you checked Revelation? Oh. Oh. I've Goodness. looked for so long. And, and still, still nothing. nothing. No sign at all of God's words they talked of. If you would, take a look. The word appears in the flesh. Wow. God's utterances. So many. Do you know God has done a great thing among men? God has always cared for every one of us. God has heard them. All of our prayers. So what? So what? So what? Are we still waiting for the kingdom? The kingdom descended? The Lord has returned and expressed new words? Is it true? Is it all real? Of course it's all real. The Lord Jesus has indeed returned. It is the incarnate Almighty God. It's a true and indisputable fact. The best proof is that Almighty God has expressed the whole truth that both purifies and saves mankind. Begun the last days, work of judgment starting with God's house, and revealed many truths and mysteries. If you hear the words expressed by Almighty God, then you'll be convinced it's God's appearance and work in the last days. Almighty God? 
Did I hear that right? I heard Eastern Lightning testifies the appearance of Almighty God. So, Aunt, Uncle, have you two accepted Eastern Lightning? Yes, both of us have. Mm. No. Aunt, I have heard things that the CCP government has been suppressing and attacking Eastern Lightning, that the pastors and elders of the religious world accuse and resist it and ask us not to investigate. Why then did you disobey the pastors and elders and go investigate it? If the pastors and elders found out, at worst, they might expel you two. Aunt, uncle, the two of you have great wisdom and grasp the Bible better than we do. Most pastors and elders accuse Eastern Lightning, but you've accepted it. I'm sure there must be a reason for that. Three months ago now, that is when it all started. When one of my colleagues testified that the Lord Jesus had returned as Almighty God and shared passages of Almighty God's Word, right when I heard it, I felt it was the truth, that it was the true voice of God. No human could utter those words. But at the same time, I was worried. If Eastern Lightning was indeed the true way, then why do so many pastors and elders in the religious world accuse it? We were afraid of being deceived, so we didn't investigate further. What happened then? Well, after that, we could never feel safe. If Eastern Lightning was the Lord's appearance and work, and we didn't seek or investigate, then weren't we ignoring our chance to be raptured? We'd be the foolish virgins left outside the gate. That's a good point. Because of all this, we both prayed and sought the Lord many times to better grasp the situation. Later on, together, we looked through the Bible. We didn't find a thing that specifically accused Eastern Lightning. Instead, we saw that the Lord prophesied, for as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. When I saw the Lord's words, I was deeply moved. Eastern lightning's appearance seemed to fulfill the Lord Jesus' prophecy. That's why we decided to investigate and see if Eastern lightning truly was the appearance and work of the Lord. I decided to go online and check. And when I looked, I read that Almighty God's kingdom, gospel, had spread from China in the East to all countries in the West, thereby fulfilling the Lord's prophecy. For as the lightning comes out of the East and shines even to the West, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. This clearly proves beyond doubt that Eastern lightning really comes from God. We no longer could follow the pastors and elders in accusing Eastern lightning. The pastors and elders just preach biblical knowledge and theological theories. They lost the Holy Spirit's work. They couldn't possibly have true knowledge of God's appearance and work. This is the reason we decided to investigate Eastern lightning. That's right. That explains it. Wow. Hearing all that you've said, Eastern Lightning fulfills the Lord Jesus' prophecy. Exactly. Why didn't I ever think of that? How about this? Let's watch a reading video of God's Word. Just listen, and you'll quickly know whether it's the voice of God. Sure. Okay. Oh, hold on. Listen. Let's go watch in there, on the big screen. Yes. All right? Let's watch okay. there. Okay. Throughout the universe, I am doing my work. And in the east, thunderous crashes issue forth endlessly, shaking all denominations. It is my voice that has led all men into the present. 
I shall cause all men to be conquered by my voice, to fall into this stream and submit before me. For I have long since reclaimed my glory from all the earth and issued it forth anew in the east. Who does not long to see my glory? Who does not anxiously await my return? Who does not thirst for my reappearance? Who does not pine for my loveliness? Who would not come to the light? Who would not look upon the richness of Canaan? Who does not long for the return of the Redeemer? Who does not adore the great Almighty? My voice shall spread throughout the earth. I wish, facing my chosen people, to speak more words to them. Like the mighty thunders that shake the mountains and rivers, I speak my words to the whole universe and to mankind. Hence the words in my mouth have become man's treasure and all men cherish my words. The lightning flashes from the east all the way to the west. My words are such that man is loath to give them up and at the same time finds them unfathomable, but rejoices in them all the more. Like a newborn infant, all men are glad and joyful, celebrating my coming. By means of my voice, I shall bring all men before me. These words are quite good. Thenceforth, I shall formally enter into the race of men so that they will come to worship me. With the glory that I radiate and the words in my mouth, I shall make it such that all men come before me and see that the lightning flashes from the east and that I have also descended unto the Mount of Olives of the east. They will see that I have already long been on earth, no longer as the son of the Jews, but as the lightning of the east. For I have long since been resurrected and have departed from mankind's midst and then reappeared with glory among men. I am he who was worshiped countless ages before now. And I am also the infant forsaken by the Israelites countless ages before now. Moreover, I am the all glorious almighty God of the present age. Let all come before my throne and see my glorious countenance, hear my voice, and look upon my deeds. This is the entirety of my will. It is the end and the climax of my plan, as well as the purpose of my management. Let every nation worship me, every tongue acknowledge me, every man repose his faith in me, and every people be subject unto me. These words have such authority. Mm, they sure do. Hey, uncle, let's sit down to watch. Ah, sure. I was once known as Jehovah. I was also called the Messiah. And people once called me Jesus the Savior because they loved and respected me. But today, I am not the Jehovah or Jesus that people knew in times past. I am the God who has returned in the last days, the God who shall bring the age to an end. I am the God himself that rises up at the ends of the earth, replete with my entire disposition and full of authority, honor, and glory. People have never engaged with me, have never known me, and have always been ignorant of my disposition. From the creation of the world until today, not one person has seen me. This is the God who appears to man during the last days, 
but is hidden among men. He resides among man, true and real, like the burning sun and the flaming fire, filled with power and brimming with authority. There is not a single person or thing that shall not be judged by my words, and not a single person or thing that shall not be purified through the burning of fire. Eventually, all nations shall be blessed because of my words, and also smashed to pieces because of my words. In this way, all people during the last days shall see that I am the Savior return. I am the Almighty God that conquers all of mankind. And I was once the sin offering for man. But in the last days, I also become the flames of the sun that burn all things, as well as the sun of righteousness that reveals all things. Such is my work of the last days. I took this name and am possessed of this disposition so that all people may see that I am a righteous God and am the burning sun and the flaming fire. It is so that all may worship me, the only true God, and so that they may see my true face. I am not only the God of the Israelites and am not just the Redeemer. I am the God of all creatures throughout heavens and earth and seas. We've never heard these words before. Mm, right. Who could ever utter such words? It's as if the Holy Spirit is speaking. Right. Wow. That's how I felt too. The words have authority and power, as if they are the voice of God. Yes. No human could utter such words, that's for sure. Mm. Clearly, following pastors and elders and not seeking the true way is wrong. Thanks be to God. You too can also hear this is God's voice. That's wonderful. Thanks be to God. In recent months, through reading the words of Almighty God, we've grasped how God performs judgment and purifies man in the last days, as well as the mystery of how the incarnate God appears and works, what it means to be raptured, how the kingdom of Christ will be realized, and many more aspects of the truth. Now we both are absolutely certain. Almighty God is the return of Lord Jesus we have awaited for many years. That's right. Muen, Jiahui, in the past we were deceived and blinded by pastors and elders. We never sought Almighty God's work in the last days and therefore nearly lost our chance to be raptured. Finding out during the disaster would have been utterly too late. That's right. The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. As we seek the true way, we must hear God's voice. You should start reading Almighty God's Word. Don't be deceived by the pastors and elders any longer. You'd be fools to allow that. The Bible says, Fools die for want of wisdom. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's dangerous business to be a fool. Uncle and Aunt, you were sure Eastern Lightning was the true way. After reading much of Almighty God's Word, that's the right path to take. Hmm. Why didn't I know to read Almighty God's words and seek the true way? How could I be deceived by the pastors and elders' specious words? In truth, I was an enormous fool. Hey, there's lots of information on this site. God's incarnation. Three stages of God's work. Judgment of the last days. The true meaning of rapture, the way of eternal life. Goodness, these are all mysteries. Yes. Thanks to God, there's so much information on the Church of Almighty God's website. Yes. 
We should both investigate. Mm. Before, we really didn't know about Eastern Lightning. But after our fellowship... Now then, goodbye. Good to work with you. Yes, likewise. This way, please. Okay. What are you watching? Uh, my dream of the heavenly kingdom. Oh. Well, how is it? The Church of Almighty God's movies are just great. Their fellowship is so clear. Mm hmm Before, we never understood why we sin during the day and confess at night, so we could never escape the bondage of sin. But now I understand a bit. Lord Jesus, only did the work of redemption, which only forgave the sins of believers like us. But our sinful natures and satanic dispositions weren't resolved. We need God's judgment in the last days to purify our dispositions. And that is the only way we can resolve our sin. Hmm. The Church of Almighty God's movies are very helpful. They explain why the religious world lacks the work of the Holy Spirit. And they also explain exactly how we should wait and welcome the return of the Lord. They resolve some of the confusion and difficulties we've had as believers for years. I'm grateful to God. Thanks to God. Wait a sec. Mm -hmm. Let's send Almighty God's words in these movies to other people so they can investigate too. That's what I was thinking. Mm. I'll send them now. Okay. God is the source of the life of man, heaven and earth live by his power, nothing alive can free itself from God's rule and authority, it doesn't matter who you are, everyone must obey God, submit to his dominion, to his control. Brother Zhang, why are you sending Eastern Lightning's movie to the church group? The pastor said we aren't allowed to investigate Eastern Lightning. Sister Hu, this movie clearly fellowships what salvation and full salvation mean, and what kind of person can be raptured and enter the kingdom of heaven. You'll be missing out if you don't watch it. If we only listen to the pastors and elders and don't attempt to seek the truth, aren't we being extremely foolish? Yes? Hi, Brother Yu. Where are you now? I'm on the road, heading back now. Oh, boy. Look at what Muen sent to the group. What did he send? Just look at it and you'll understand. Okay. I'll look. Check what's going on in the group. Huh? Is it this Eastern Lightning? Eastern Lightning? Here, let me see that. 
believe this. Why is he looking into Eastern Lightning? He can't do that. I never thought this would happen. Everyone, do not watch these Eastern Lightning movies. They will deceive you. Exactly. The moment I saw that it was the Church of Almighty God, I didn't dare keep watching. Sister Who, Sister Soy, I'm telling you. If you miss out on seeing such a good movie, it's your loss. At first, I didn't dare watch either, but I was curious. I opened it up and watched, and it blew me away. The sermons are so much better than what we get from our pastors and elders. They're fresh and practical. I feel that watching the movie was really good for me. It clearly explains who God blesses and punishes, the final end and destination of man, and the realization of the kingdom of Christ. I think it must come from God. When have any of us ever heard such practical sermons? You'll know whether or not the movie is good after you've watched it. The last few days, I've been reading Almighty God's Word and watching their movies. I really think that the words of Almighty God are the truth. Almighty God might very well be the return of the Lord Jesus. We all need to seek and investigate. I'll send a passage of Almighty God's Word. Take a look at it. How do we respond? This is a problem. Brother Zhang has believed for years. He's passionate, and he offers the most money. If he converts to Eastern Lightning, the loss to the church will be enormous. You know, that's really true. What's more, they're all the very best sheep in our church. Hey, Pastor Ma, take a look now. They're all reading Almighty God's Word. The words of Almighty God are powerful. Once they grasp it, and it enters their hearts, I fear they'll all accept it. It's said, time and again, not to listen to Eastern Lightning. Why don't they all obey me? Just what did he send? Here, let me see that. The return of Jesus is a great salvation for those who are capable of accepting the truth. But for those who are unable to accept the truth, it is a sign of condemnation. You should choose your own path and should not blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and reject the truth. You should not be an ignorant and arrogant person. You hear that? but someone who obeys the guidance of the Holy Spirit and longs for and seeks the truth. Only in this way will you benefit. I advise you to tread the path of belief in God with care. Do not jump to conclusions. What's more, do not be casual and carefree in your belief in God. You should know that, at the very least, those who believe in God should be humble and reverential. Those who have heard the truth and yet turn their nose up at it are foolish and ignorant. Those who have heard the truth and yet carelessly jump to conclusions or condemn it are beset by arrogance. Hey. Brother Yu, can you hand me that? No one who believes in Jesus is qualified to curse or condemn others 
You should all be someone who is rational and accepts the truth. Perhaps having heard the way of truth and read the word of life, you believe that only one in 10,000 of these words are in line with your convictions and the Bible. And then you should continue to seek in that 10,000th of these words. I still advise you to be humble, to not be overconfident, and to not exalt yourself too highly. With your heart holding such meager reverence for God, you will gain greater light. If you carefully examine and repeatedly contemplate these words, you shall understand whether or not they are the truth and whether or not they are life. Stop. Stop reading. Almighty God's word really is powerful. Those words are too enlightening for people. If our believers hear some of this, they will certainly accept these enlightening. And once they do, they will abandon us. Therefore, we can't allow them to see any of Almighty God's word. You're correct. If they are exposed to too much of this, they all might accept it. Of course, if we prevent them all from reading the words of Almighty God, they'll say we're keeping them from investigating what they think is the true way and from entering the kingdom of heaven. Pastor Ma, what can we do about all this? What should we do? No matter what, we can't let them see more of Almighty God's Word. Let's think of a way to delete all this information. Right. Also, warn the brothers and sisters never to visit the Church of Almighty God's website. And never to read Almighty God's Word or watch those movies. When someone comes to preach Easter Lightning's teachings, you take their picture and then send them away. Then tell the entire church that those people should be rejected. Yes, I'll send that right away. Hold on. One more thing. I have material from the CCP government accusing the Church of Almighty God. Everyone take a look. Send this to all. Hey. Great idea. Yeah. I think this should do the trick. Yes? Hi, how are you? Mm, can you and Jahui meet us tomorrow? Sure we can. Oh yeah? It's no problem. We'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. How is it? Mm. All the food is really delicious. Mm. Mm. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. Please have some sure. more. Hmm. So, Moen, mm -hmm. there's something as big as studying Eastern Lightning. Why didn't you think to come to me first? Exactly. Today, there's so much false teachings. You have to be very careful, especially with Eastern Lightning, claiming the Lord Jesus returned. Don't you two ever believe it? The Lord Jesus prophesied, Then if any man shall say to you, See, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, so that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. From this prophecy, we can all see that any who testifies that the incarnate God, or that Christ has appeared in the last days, without exception, is a deceiver. At all times, it is our duty to keep the Lord's name and the Lord's way. When the Lord comes on clouds, he will rapture us to the kingdom of heaven. There's no way that's wrong. Listen to me. You should both stop investigating Eastern Lightning. You'll be tricked and take the wrong path. And when the Lord comes, you will both be forsaken. That's right. 
I've heard that in mainland China, many good sheep from every denomination and sect, who have also read, the word appears in the flesh and started, believing in Almighty God, betrayed the Lord in the process. Muen, you are the most outstanding co-worker in our church and one of the church's leading talents. The pastor has some very big hopes for you. Please, you need to read the Bible more closely. Don't read any of Eastern Lightning's books anymore. Once this heresy fully deceives you and the Lord rejects you, it will be too late. Please listen, both of you. I have read Almighty God's words and watched the Church of Almighty God's movies, and I've gained new insight into the Lord's appearance and work in the last days, and how to welcome His coming. The Lord Jesus prophesied false Christs and prophets would deceive us through signs and wonders, but never once did He say that any who testifies the coming of the incarnate God is a liar. If we call all who testify the coming of the incarnate God liars, aren't we condemning the Lord's appearance and work in the last days? That's right. I think the Lord Jesus said that to warn us against false Christs and false prophets, not to forbid us from seeking and investigating any testimony about the coming of the incarnate God. If fear of deception stops us seeking and investigating testimony of His return, we're not in accord with His words. The Lord Jesus said, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes, go you out to meet him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Pastor Ma, based on his words, as we wait for the Lord's return, what's most vital is listening for God's voice. If any testify that the Lord has returned and is expressing words, we should seek and investigate and see if it's the voice of God. Only in this way can we welcome and sup with the Lord. That's right. It is fine to wish for the Lord's coming and to wish for rapture. But Eastern Lightning testifies the Lord Jesus has returned. And he is the incarnate Almighty God, and he's appeared in China. How is that possible? The Lord Jesus prophesies that he descend upon a cloud visible to all. Were you not aware of this? Did the Lord Jesus prophesy he'd come as the incarnate Almighty God? No, he did not. What Eastern Lightning testifies doesn't accord with the Bible. Is there any point in investigating? If we study the Bible carefully, it's easy to find this. It says the Lord will return through incarnation. So the Lord showed all this to us. Such as, Be you therefore ready also, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. Pastor Ma, but the Bible does prophesy that the Lord will return incarnate. The Lord Jesus has said, For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Both Bible passages cite the coming of the Son of Man. Would you not agree that the Son of Man refers to the incarnate God? If the returned Lord appears in a spiritual body that descends on a cloud and not as the incarnate Son of Man, then why does it say, but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation? It's obvious that these prophecies of the Lord refer to the appearance and work of the incarnate God in the last days. Pastor Ma, may I ask how the two of you understand these two prophecies? In my opinion, 
As we wait for the Lord, we can't just hold to the prophecy that will descend on clouds. We need to actively seek the voice of God. That's the choice of the wise virgin. Pastor, Manyao, why don't you two also read Almighty God's Word, and then see if Almighty God's Word is the truth as well as the voice of God? That way, you'll know whether Eastern Lightning is the appearance and work of God in the last days. Mm. She's entirely right. Before, we just heard Eastern Lightning's witness that the Lord Jesus returned, but we all knew nothing of Eastern Lightning. Now that we've read Almighty God's Word, we both have realized that it is all the truth and comes from the Holy Spirit. Pastor Ma, Manyao, if you guide us all in investigating Eastern Lightning, that'd be perfect. If everyone could read Almighty God's Word, they could gain life supply. The Church of Almighty God also has a church here in the U.S. Let's visit together and investigate the true way. It's a great idea. We should go together. Uh, you see... It's just... Studying Eastern Lightning is a big deal. We have to be careful. Let's talk once we've had time to think. Now, let's eat. It'll overcook, huh? If the two of you really want to investigate Eastern Lightning, you have the right to. I respect this. But as a pastor, it is both my duty and my obligation to remind you that if Eastern Lightning truly is the Lord's appearance, then religious pastors and elders would have already accepted it. Pastors and elders have deep knowledge of the Bible, and they serve the Lord. Don't you agree they would discern the voice of the Lord? Pastors and elders of the religious world accuse and resist Eastern Lightning. The CCP government listed it as a cult long ago. All this proves Eastern Lightning couldn't be the true way. First, you should listen how the CCP government and the pastors and elders together accuse Eastern Lightning. Learn about every aspect before you two investigate. I think that is appropriate. Ah, here. Look at this. It's a video about the CCP government and the religious world accuse Eastern Lightning. Here you go. Take a good look. Yeah. I trust you'll both find it very helpful. That Shangdong Shaoyun case that occurred May 28th was open to the public in the CCP court. The court determined that the suspects were members of the Church of Almighty God. Additionally, China's CCTV did a special report. Could those things be fake? The fact that the Church of Almighty God's people could do something like that proves beyond any doubt that Eastern Lightning couldn't possibly be the true way. Isn't that the case? Is Eastern Lightning actually the true way? If I have been deceived, won't that mean that my many years of belief in the Lord have all been in vain? However, if Almighty God is the return of the Lord Jesus, and I don't seek and investigate, won't I lose my chance to be raptured and enter the kingdom of heaven?
It's time. Come down and eat. Jiahui. Yes? Pastor Ma really made a good point. The CCP and the religious world condemn Eastern Lightning. How could Eastern Lightning be the true way? We should stop investigating. At least for now. Listen here. This isn't something that can wait. Think back how it felt to read the word of Almighty God. We felt it was the truth. No human could express that. We must keep investigating. I don't deny anything you've said, but how can we explain what happened in that big court case? Can you explain it? Usually you're pretty smart. Why are you being so foolish about investigating the true way? For now, let's put aside whether or not the case is real. In just the last two to three years, the Church of Almighty God has released so many good movies and videos testifying God. Without the Holy Spirit's work, could any religious organization do that? The pastors and elders of the religious world have preached the Bible for many years, but can they express the truth? The Church of Almighty God has the truth, the Holy Spirit's work, and our hearts can verify that. Why are you listening to the CCP and the pastors and elders of the religious world? Even if we are suspicious about Eastern Lightning, we can't give up investigating. Let's at least find out the truth about these things. All right, all right, enough of this. We should heed the pastors and elders' words. It's much safer to believe in our church. I must go to work. Come now, think about it. The Shandong Jiayuan case was tried in a CCP court. Can you trust a trial and judgment given from a CCP court? We both lived in China for years. How many lies and false accusations against the innocent come from the CCP? You're as clear as anyone on that. Even communism is a big lie. You think they can speak one word of truth? Besides, the CCP is an atheist party. They've always persecuted house churches. How could we ever believe them when they accuse a church? The Shandong Jiayuan case? I suspect it all was a CCP forgery. I truly think we should keep investigating Eastern Lightning. Hearing it like that, I need to think long and hard about this. Agreed. Hi, Jiahui. What's up? Sure. Okay, fine. 
Now look, we both know Pastor Ma told us not to investigate Eastern Lightning, but you went and invited them into your home. Zhao Hui invited them all here. She wants us to investigate and understand. Brother Yu, since you're here now, come and hear what they have to say. Okay, it's time. Come and sit. Come in. As you know, I've been reading reports about Shandong Xiaoyang case. It's hard to understand. If Eastern Lightning is the true way, how could something like that happen? It seems, if Almighty God's words are the truth, then the Church of Almighty God wouldn't do something like that. That's why we're asking you to share your thoughts on this. Yes, I too am confused. Indeed, we're in need of fellowship about this. In my opinion, the fact that the CCP government and most pastors and elders all accuse Eastern Lightning proves that Eastern Lightning could not ever be the true way. Think about it. Ruling parties are established by God. The ruling party accuses Eastern Lightning. Is that a small matter to you? The CCP courts publicly tried the Shandong Zhaiyuan case and determined that the suspects were all from the Church of Almighty God. How could that not be true? If you ask me, we shouldn't be investigating Eastern Lightning at all. All of us could be deceived. That's right. Please hear me out. If we suspect the work of God and stop investigating the true way because of this, aren't we being rather foolish? Is CCP propaganda and the religious world's resistance a reason not to investigate the true way? As we investigate whether Almighty God's work is the true way and God's appearance and work, the questions that matter most are whether Almighty God's words are the truth, and if they are, the voice of God, and whether what Almighty God does is the work of saving mankind in the last days. If we do take the time to investigate and discover Almighty God's words are the truth and the work of God, then it is the true way. That's right. No matter what rumors come from the CCP and the religious world, we need to follow and to accept Almighty God we cannot tolerate the bondage of the CCP's lies and the religious world's rumors. Isn't this sorting black from white and taking a stand? Yes, mm. right. Yes. right. Yes, that's what it is. Mm. You've already read Almighty God's words, and you all admit they are the truth. So why do you still believe the false rumors spread by the CCP and the pastors and elders? Is the truth of the May 28th incident in any way related to the work of Almighty God? Or whether or not Eastern Lightning is the true way? After all, that is a criminal case. It has nothing whatsoever to do with Almighty God's appearance and work. They're fully unrelated to one another. Isn't that right? Yes. That actually is true. Mm. In the Shengdong Xiaoyang trial, the suspects clearly said in court, the state cracks down upon Zhao Weishang's Almighty God, not the Almighty God we believe in. I have never had contact with the Church of Almighty God. They deny being members of the Church of Almighty God. In fact, they don't have anything to do with the Church. So why did the CCP judges go against the facts and convict the suspects of being members of the Church of Almighty God? They were intentionally twisting the facts, framing the innocent, just to ruin the name of the church. Right. Such a blatant gap in logic is a clear attempt to frame the church. Mm. That's true. Plus, if a member of the Church of Almighty God did commit wicked deeds, would that be related to Almighty God's appearance and work? Would that be related to the Church of Almighty God? If a Catholic breaks the law, what does that have to do with Catholicism? If a Christian breaks the law, what to do with Christianity? Nothing. No matter what crime a believer in any religion commits or what legal action he receives, it has nothing to do with his religion. If a Christian breaks the law, it's unrelated to the fact that God's indeed the truth. This is true beyond a doubt. 
Right. An individual's crimes reflect just upon themselves. They have nothing to do with the church at all. So how can you suspect that because of this case and CCP's false rumors, that the words of Almighty God aren't the truth and that Eastern lightning isn't the true way? Isn't that foolish and ignorant? Yes. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. With fellowship like that, I understand. The May 28th case and the work of Almighty God are completely unrelated. How did I let myself get so confused? He finally understands. Thank the Lord. Right. We shouldn't suspect the Lord Jesus isn't the Lord just because Judas betrayed him. That all sounds logical enough, but in fact it isn't that easy. I watched the May 28th case videos and they just completely confused me. I didn't want to look into Eastern Lightning. Believing in God is just believing, so why is it so complicated? Even now, I don't know if Eastern Lightning's the true way. Right. The CCP and the religious world are powerful, and they're accusing Eastern Lightning. It's impossible not to suspect Eastern Lightning. You all grasp how hard it is to investigate the true way. Yes. The CCP's rumors leave us all feeling completely confused. Negative propaganda from religious pastors and elders leaves us completely baffled. This high-profile case makes us suspect and deny God's work. What problem is revealed? Is investigating the true way easy? Since we lack discernment, if we don't seek the truth, we'll be deceived and controlled by Satan. This fulfills these words in the Bible. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Fools die for want of wisdom. That's right. The next question is, why doesn't God save the ignorant and foolish? God's work in the last days reveals people. If people turn to God and seek, God enlightens and illuminates them. But if people are arrogant and rely on their own notions, they become trapped in Satan's schemes and caught in their own nets. It's inevitable that God is the truth and treats people righteously is revealed completely in this fact. God's work really does reveal people. Indeed. That really reveals to us all who's a foolish virgin and who is a wise virgin. That's right. The foolish virgin is always restrained by Satan's lies, but the wise virgin only listens to the voice of God. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door opens. God truly treats people reasonably. That's definitely fair. Hey, everyone. Just hear me out. Yes, it's true, the wise virgin hears God's voice. But spiritually, we're small and lack discernment. If it turns out we're deceived, won't all we've suffered in our years of belief be absolutely in vain? Pastors and elders better grasp the Bible, and they have more discernment than we do. If the Lord had returned, could they possibly not know? So, let's stop listening to them and only listen to the pastors and elders. Pastors and elders all accuse Eastern Lightning. That's why we shouldn't investigate. We should all go home. Huh? Let's go. Wait a sec. We've all read Almighty God's Word and feel that it's the truth, the voice of God. Why do you always try to stop us from investigating? Yeah. Each of us has the right to investigate the true way. Why do you always try to prevent us? Yes, why? What are your intentions in doing this? Uh, but... Hey, Brother Yu. These sisters have given clear fellowship. Everyone wants to hear them, so let them speak. That's right. Brother Yu, keep now listening. Now sit back down. Keep listening. Come on. Everyone, we must understand. At each stage of God's work, Satan wildly disrupts it. It spreads fallacies to deceive us. During God's work in the last days, the satanic CCP and the pastors and elders spread all manner of rumors and lies. They twist the facts and confuse us in an effort to disturb God's work. In this complex spiritual war, only the wise virgins investigate the true way. And even if the foolish virgins seek, they're tricked and led astray by Satan's lies and deceit. 
The May 28th case has deceived many foolish, ignorant people. This is a fact that all of you have seen. That's really true. As for how to seek the true way, Almighty God's words stated clearly. Let's read a few passages. Okay. Yes. Okay. Almighty God says, to study such a thing is not difficult, but requires each of us to know this truth. He who is God's incarnation shall hold the substance of God, and he who is God's incarnation shall hold the expression of God. Since God becomes flesh, he shall bring forth the work he must do. And since God becomes flesh, he shall express what he is, and shall be able to bring the truth to man, bestow life upon man, and show man the way. Flesh that does not contain the substance of God is surely not the incarnate God. Of this, there is no doubt. To investigate whether it is God's incarnate flesh, man must determine this from the disposition he expresses and the words he speaks. Which is to say, whether or not it is God's incarnate flesh, and whether or not it is the true way, must be judged from his substance. And so, in determining whether it is the flesh of God incarnate, the key is to pay attention to his substance, his work, his words, his disposition, and many more, rather than external appearance. If man sees only his external appearance and overlooks his substance, then that shows the ignorance and naivete of man. Indeed. Sister Zhang. Yes? Read the next passage. Okay. Since we are searching for the footprints of God, we must search for God's will, for the words of God, for the utterances of God. For where there are the new words of God, there is the voice of God. And where there are the footsteps of God, there are the deeds of God. Where there is the expression of God, there is the appearance of God. And where there is the appearance of God, there exists the truth, the way, and the life. While seeking the footprints of God, you ignored the words that God is the truth, the way, and the life. So when many people receive the truth, they do not believe that they have found the footprints of God, and much less acknowledge the appearance of God. What a serious error that is! Hey aunt, may I read next? Sure. My words are the forever unchanging truth. I am the supply of life for man and the only guide for mankind. The worth and meaning of my words are not determined by whether they are recognized or accepted by mankind, but by the substance of the words themselves. Even if not a single person on this earth can receive my words, the value of my words and their help to mankind are inestimable by any man. Therefore, when faced with the many men who rebel against refute or are utterly contemptuous of my words, my stance is only this. Let time and facts be my witness and show that my words are the truth, the way, and the life. Let them show that all I have said is right and is that which man should be furnished with, and moreover, that which man should accept. Wow! Almighty God's words have so much authority. That's right. Almighty God's words make everything clear. These are precisely the truths we lack. Absolutely. Thanks to God. Amen. Now that we've read God's word, do you all have a path for investigating the true way? What's most vital in seeking the true way is to determine if it has the truth, if it has the Holy Spirit's work and the voice of God. This is what's crucial in investigating the true way. God is the truth, the way, and the life. 
God's words are eternally unchanging truth. That's quite true. No matter how the forces of Satan spin false rumors to defame the work of God, once we have determined it's the truth and God's voice, no rumors or fallacies should be able to deceive or disturb us, and we should accept and follow God without doubt or regret. It is just like when the Lord Jesus appeared. The Jewish religious leaders disseminated many a rumor. They denied Lord Jesus' conception by the Holy Spirit and called him blasphemous. They profaned the Lord Jesus with various false accusations. No matter how they judged and accused him, the Lord Jesus was Christ the Savior. That was a fact no one could ever deny. Those who loved the truth and yearned for the appearance of God listened only to God's voice. And they determined the Lord Jesus expressed truth. They weren't deceived by Satan's rumors or fallacies. They faithfully followed the Lord Jesus and gained the Lord's salvation. As we investigate, we must focus only on listening for God's voice and determining for ourselves whether or not it is the truth that is enough. Oh, wow, such helpful fellowship. This kind of fellowship gives us a path. As we seek and investigate, we should just focus on hearing God's voice and seeing if it has the Holy Spirit's work and if it expresses the truth. It's important we understand this principle. Yes, this is just what we needed. Their fellowship makes so much sense. Yeah, it's easy to grasp. Understand now? Yes, thank God. As we seek God's work in the last days, because we have determined that Almighty God's words are the truth and the voice of God, no matter how many May 28th cases the CCP invents, even if there's a hundred or a thousand, they can't cover up the facts of God's work or the truth in the words expressed by Almighty God. Nor can they impact the fulfillment of God's words or hinder the footsteps of God's work. Because God is almighty and orchestrates all, this is eternal truth, an eternal fact, and something that no one can change. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. As we seek the true way, the key is our intentions and what's most vital, is what we choose to try and grasp. If we waste time on things unrelated to God's work and the truth He expressed, it interferes with investigating the true way and hearing God's voice. People who do that are quite clearly foolish virgins. Right. Satan and devils can't stop God from speaking or working, nor would they dare hold up Almighty God's words for us to seek and investigate. They're only able to use external means to deceive, such as making certain people do wicked deeds and then blaming the Church of Almighty God to mislead us and stop us from listening for God's voice and seeking God's work. While the wise can see through these schemes of Satan, the foolish and ignorant fall for these schemes of Satan every single time. That's right. It's true. If one doesn't look at if Almighty God's words are the truth as they seek the true way, but instead listens to the false rumors of the CCP and then denies the appearance and work of Almighty God, then he is foolish. Yes, that's absolutely right. I've always had doubts about the CCP court's verdicts and had suspicions of CCP media reports. But now, hearing your fellowship, I see how false and utterly absurd the May 28th case was. The CCP's actions are shameless. Right, yes, right. they are. The CCP's held power for years, but never done any good. All the CCP does is ridiculous and even evil. They've not gained the people's hearts. Today, I'm convinced the CCP frames the Church of Almighty God and smears it. What the Church of Almighty God preaches are the voice and words of God. And all its movies testify about God and are positive. Mm -hmm. That's right. We lacked insight into these things. We were so foolish. Thank the Lord. After hearing your fellowship, my heart feels so much lighter. When seeking Eastern Lightning, we should determine if the words of Almighty God are words of truth and are the voice of God. That's how we'll know if it's the true way, and nothing else is important. I've learned a few lessons from this, that no matter who, in the name of the Church of Almighty God, or in any possible means, commits a wicked deed, 
It has nothing to do with the appearance and work of Almighty God, and nothing to do with the truth expressed by Almighty God. We can't believe any of Satan's absurd fallacies. Yes. Thank God. I was deceived by the CCP's rumors, and so suspected Almighty God's work, and failed to seek God's truth spoken in the last days. I really was a fool. Thanks be to God. Indeed, thanks to the Lord. Yes. I'm oh. so glad I'm so glad this so worked out that you've seen the way. Mm. We're lucky to hear this. Moen, you say that the May 28th case was a CCP fabrication. I don't deny that. You want me to investigate Eastern Lightning, but that's impossible. For years, the pastors and elders have interpreted the Bible and have served the Lord. All of them accuse Eastern Lightning. How could Eastern Lightning be the appearance and work of the Lord? Exactly. Why do you refuse to listen to any of us and still investigate Eastern Lightning? Aren't you afraid of taking the wrong path? Huh? <sighs> Pastor Ma, Eastern Lightning's teachings accord with the Bible and fulfill prophecies of the Lord's return. Why won't you let us investigate them? Don't you see? They testify the Lord's return to express truth and perform judgment in the last days. All of us should be wise virgins and should seek and welcome the Lord's return. Why won't you allow us to hear God's voice and welcome the Lord? Is that in accord with the Lord's will? I think you need to reflect on exactly what it is you're doing. Don't you get it? It's to protect us that Pastor Ma forbids us from investigating Eastern Lightning. You must understand, Pastor Ma does this for your own good. That's right. Beyond that, pastors and elders were all established by the Lord. We have to listen to them and obey them. You know the saying, obeying them is obeying the Lord but resisting them is like resisting the Lord. Do you still not understand this? Brother Yu is correct. The pastors and the elders are our spiritual guides on the path into the kingdom of heaven. If all of them are convinced that Eastern lightning is a heresy, then we all had better listen to them, because they can't be wrong. That's right, Muen. Though Eastern Lightning's sermons sound good, we can't listen to them. Right. Think on this. You're aware of the Church's regulations. If you believe in Eastern Lightning, the Church is compelled to expel you. And we will notify other Churches. You'll be banished from all of them. And then... Your years of service and sacrifice will be all in vain, won't they? You'll lose your chance to enter the kingdom of heaven. Have you considered all of these consequences? Think hard about this. If you believe in Eastern Lightning, the Church is compelled to expel you. Aunt, do you fear you'll be expelled for investigating Eastern Lightning? 
Muen. Being expelled from church and rejected by pastors isn't frightening at all. What's frightening is believing in God and failing to hear God's voice or welcome the Lord, and forever losing the blessing of entering the kingdom of heaven. Think back on this when the Lord Jesus appeared and did his work. Many believers in the Jewish faith feared being expelled from the synagogue, so rejected the Lord Jesus. In the end, they lost the Lord's salvation. Weren't they the biggest fools of all? Hey, Pastor Ma, where are you now? Followers from Eastern Lightning came to preach to Muen again. They did. We have to get over there. Right, okay. What's going on? Where are you going? Oh, I have to go to Muen's house. Oh, 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 oh! No! No! Oh! oh, oh. <gasps> oh. Sister Zhang, Sister Gao, the words Almighty God expressed are obviously the truth and are the voice of God. So why is it that most pastors and elders resist and accuse him? Because pastors and elders insist it couldn't be the true way many brothers and sisters don't dare investigate Eastern Lightning. They fear they'd be led astray. It's Indeed. true. I'd like answers and to know how you see this issue. I'd like yes, 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 yes. yes. like to more fellowship. Brother Zhang, are there any answers to seek here? All pastors and elders condemn Eastern Lightning. Is it possible they're all wrong? Think about it. Pastors and elders are committed servants of the Lord. Don't they study and interpret the Bible and give sermons all over in many countries around the world? Indeed. If the Lord had returned, wouldn't they recognize him? They would. Therefore, to investigate the true way, we're all compelled to listen to them. We need to let them take control. They're who we can count on, am I right? right. Amen. Brother Yu, we're all confused right now. That's why we must fellowship till we understand. Yeah. So first, we should all hear the fellowship of these two sisters. I agree. Let's hear them first. Yeah. yeah. Let us listen. Many believers in the Lord, as they seek the true way, either listen to the CCP's rumors or blindly believe the words of the pastors and elders and give them control to make their decisions. But isn't that ignorant? Do the pastors and elders possess the truth? Are they able to hear the voice of the Lord? Can they recognize the appearance of the Lord? No, they can't. They themselves don't know how to discern God's voice or welcome the Lord's return. So what qualifies them to take control and make decisions? Yeah, yeah. they're, they're not the qualified at right. all. Jewish religious leaders, as we all know, were familiar with the scriptures and often interpreted them for others. But then when the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, were they able to hear God's voice in the Lord Jesus' words? No. Did they recognize that the Lord Jesus was Christ, was God himself? Did they lead believers to welcome the Lord Jesus? No. No. They not only failed to welcome him, they condemned and blasphemed the Lord Jesus. And they even colluded with the Roman government to nail him to the cross. Right. These facts are enough to prove that knowing the Bible and even interpreting it does not mean someone grasps the truth, nor that the person has knowledge of God. Even though religious leaders have high position and status, it does not mean they know God or can obey God. Isn't that the case? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Then do you think pastors and elders who know the Bible and often interpret it are certain to recognize the Lord's coming? Does that logic stand? Yeah, it really doesn't. Isn't that a fallacy? Oh yeah, it really is. Pastors and elders know the Bible, but that doesn't mean they know God. That's a very good point. Right. As we investigate the true way we can't blindly follow them, or we'll risk taking the wrong path and following them in resisting God. Right. right. It's true. 
Let's read some of Almighty God's Word. Then you'll see the true face of these pastors and elders. Almighty God says, Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day, yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Not one is able to know God. Moreover, not one is in accord with the heart of God. They are all worthless, vile men, each standing on high to teach God. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose Him. Though they label themselves believers of God, they are the ones who eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such men are devils who devour the soul of man, demons who purposefully disturb those who try to step onto the right path, and stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God. Though they are of robust flesh, how are their followers to know that they are antichrists who lead man in opposition to God? How are they to know that they are living devils who specially seek souls to devour? Sister Gao, I'll read the next passage. All right. Look at the leaders of every denomination and sect. They are all arrogant and self-right and they interpret the Bible out of context and according to their own imagination. They all rely on gifts and erudition to do their work. If they were incapable of preaching anything, would those people follow them? They do, after all, possess some learning and can speak a little of doctrine or know how to win over others and how to use some artifices through which they have brought people before themselves and have deceived them. Nominally, those people believe in God, but in reality, they follow their leaders. If they encounter those who preach the true way, some of them would say, We have to consult him about our belief in God. They require someone's consent to believe in God. Is that not a problem? What have those leaders become then? Have they not become Pharisees? False shepherds? Antichrists? and stumbling blocks to people's acceptance of the true way. Pastors and elders are like that. Yeah. Now that we've read Almighty God's Word, we have much more insight how pastors and elders resist God, do we not? Yeah. Yeah. All of us here have seen that the incarnate God has appeared and works in China, and that true believers in God of every sect have read Almighty God's Word, felt it to be the truth and the voice of God, and turned to Almighty God. How many pastors and elders seek truth and investigate to find the true way? They know very well that Almighty God's words have authority and power. Some religious pastors even plagiarize Almighty God's words in their sermons, yet still refuse to accept the true way. They resist Almighty God and even report God's chosen people to police. Sadly, that's really true. There are also pastors in the religious world abroad who condemn the appearance of Almighty God and strive to close their churches off and stop believers from investigating the true way. This all proves beyond any doubt that most pastors and elders are like the Pharisees who resisted the Lord Jesus. They're not people who love the truth. They're antichrists who hate the truth and make an enemy of God. Just as the Bible says, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. The pastors and elders all deny and condemn the incarnate God. They believe in the Lord Jesus by name, but don't think God will incarnate again and they refuse to admit the incarnate Christ. Doesn't denying and condemning Christ in this way make them antichrists? If one believes in God without hearing God's word, and instead believes the fallacies of antichrists, and even complies with their evil forces in condemning God's appearance and His work, 
Could this person be a believer in and follower of God? No way. Goodness, no, they can't. That's right. If we say we believe in God, but follow antichrists, how can we ever gain eternal life? If people are foolish, don't seek the truth and don't accept the appearance of God. There is only the path of death for them. The consequences are so serious. They really are. Thanks be to God. It's easy to be deceived by all that. But after your fellowship, I understand. Anyone who denies or condemns the incarnate God is an antichrist. All these years, pastors and elders have condemned Almighty God, who is Christ of the last days. That means they are antichrists. That's exactly right. We lack discernment as believers and idolize the pastors and elders and blindly followed them in resisting God's work in the last days. We were just so ignorant. We put ourselves at risk of death. It's too dangerous. Yeah. All these pastors and elders, in the name of protecting the flock, warn us to guard against false Christs and antichrists. And it turns out that they're in fact the real antichrists. Like pickpockets warning of thieves. That's exactly it. These pastors and elders are despicable. They should be cursed. That's right. We've been following antichrists in rejecting God's appearance and work. And yet we still want to be raptured. We must be daydreaming. It's a terrible thing to not grasp the truth. In my years of belief, I worshipped the pastors. I considered them my spiritual parents and my guides on the path to enter the kingdom of heaven. I never would have imagined. They were just like the Pharisees who resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus. They're all antichrists who deny and resist God. They don't look into God's work in the last days and prevent us from seeking the true way. I'm reminded of how Lord Jesus cursed the Pharisees. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. That's right. I finally understand. Most religious pastors and elders are modern day Pharisees, servants of evil. What could be more ignorant than trusting them to lead us to the kingdom of heaven? We're lucky that they didn't lead us into death. Indeed. <sighs> We're lucky you fellowshiped with us and shared Almighty God's word till we finally awaked. Yes. Now we see they are antichrists who resist God. Thanks be to Almighty God. Right. This time I finally understand. To investigate the true way, we must listen to the voice of God, not the rumors and lies of the CCP and the religious world. This is what's most important. Right. That's right. Yes. That's right. But there are so many believers in the church who are just like us. They just follow the pastors and don't seek the truth or the voice of God. What could be more foolish? How? Oh, you... Don't you people have a shred of conscience? Huh? The pastors, as well as elders, have shepherded us in the church. How can you all sit there and treat them this way? How? Pastors and elders are our guides on the path to the kingdom of heaven. If we don't listen, how can we be raptured and enter the kingdom of heaven? That's right. What exactly are you people thinking? I don't care what you all think. Eastern Lightning sermons may contain much truth, but until the pastors and elders allow it, I will never, never accept their teachings. As for all of you, you must obey the pastors and elders. Brother Yu, how could you have believed for so long but say something so foolish? That's Indeed. right. Do you believe in the Lord or the pastors and elders? Are the pastors and elders Christ? 
Can they save mankind? Can they bring us to the kingdom of heaven? No, not at all. <sighs> they fellowship so clearly on this topic. Any dunce could understand. Why are you so stubborn? Do you really think what we should do is continue to resist even though all of us now know the true way? Doesn't the Bible say, For if we sin willfully after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remains no more sacrifice for sins. Now we all hear the voice of God. And furthermore, we all see God's appearance and work. How come you still don't get it? The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. Why is it that you don't actively seek the truth? Why do you always speak for pastors? Why do you try to restrain us? You need to wake up and recognize what they are. You mustn't follow the pastors and the elders in all their wicked deeds. Mm. Think what happens That's if right. you keep he others from entering the kingdom of heaven. Really? Think about it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Think about yeah. the now, consequences. It's, it's too dangerous. To exactly. It's important. It. Brothers and sisters, do you remember how deeply the Jews yearned and yearned for the coming of the Messiah? But then when the Lord Jesus appeared and worked, they failed to seek the truth and only listened to the lies of their religious leaders and their condemnation and their rejection of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, all of them were punished by God and lost his salvation. All this suffering was the consequence of not seeking truth and of having blind faith in their religious leaders. The work of God shall forever progress. No force of Satan can stand in its way. But if we don't follow God's footsteps, but instead we resist God's work, in the end, we'll certainly be cursed and punished by God. This is decided by God's righteous disposition that allows no offense. Almighty God says, The work of God is like mightily surging waves. No one can detain him, and no one can halt his footsteps. Only those who listen carefully to his words and who seek and thirst for him can follow his footsteps and receive his promise. Those who do not shall be subjected to overwhelming disaster and deserved punishment. Soon, God's work of judgment in the last days will finally conclude. Those who experience God's judgment and are purified will survive the great disaster and enter the kingdom of God. On the other hand, any who deny or resist God will be severely punished in the great disaster. If those who rejected God's work in the last days, because they listened to satanic absurdities, are lost in the disaster, I ask you, who do they have to blame? Only themselves. Only themselves? Who else could they blame? Exactly. Right. They only have themselves to blame for their ignorance. All this also fulfills God's words. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We must, wisdom, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. We must we listen to God's voice and follow his footsteps. Right. right. Gosh, we can't be foolish I, I virgins again. Right. <laughs> right. Thanks, God. Be it is Thanks be to God. God. Yes. Walking in the way. Indeed. Understand. Must. Okay, I mean, we must investigate. Sisters, here in your fellowship, I now feel very ashamed. I read Almighty God's word, and in my heart I was sure, beyond a doubt, that it was the truth and the voice of God. But after hearing the CCP's lies and the religious world's smearing of the Church of Almighty God, I was confused. I turned from the path and was dissuaded from seeking God's work in the last days. I nearly missed my chance to be raptured by the Lord. I was such an ignorant fool. In the past, I read in the Bible, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Fools die for want of wisdom. I never understood how one could die of foolishness. Could the consequences be that serious? But now I do understand. If we don't focus on God's voice as we investigate the true way, 
but instead listen to the lies of the CCP government and pastors and elders, and deny and reject God's appearance and work, we'll lose our chance to enter the kingdom of heaven, and we will be extinguished by the great disaster. That's, That's right. right. And that happens due to ignorance, foolishness, and lack of any real discernment. Mm. Oh, thanks be to thanks God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> thanks be to God. From this talk, I understand at last. Thanks be to God. Spirit.